So, take a look at the sky here. Fog. Fog on the ground. But not everywhere. Somebody told me that I should prove that this fog is fake. Well, I don't really need to prove it. Eyes to see and ears to hear. Take a look at the periphery here, pink and blue. I don't know exactly how they generate this fog, but I do see the twizzlers in the sky. I do see the frequent flyers that, um, for the most part, defy being filmed. But just take a look at this. Why is it only in this area and then spreading out? Look, it's going over into the whole neighborhood now. It is 6.30, Disturbia time. Even daylight savings time is a psyop. Take a look at this white sky. The sky should be completely blue. No, it is white, it is orange, it is pink, it is blue. It is everything but natural. Granted, I do have a certain advantage because I'm 57. And when I was young, when I was real little, there was no daylight saving time. For example, when I was uh, young up until the time that I was about 50, I saw real clouds and I saw the sun as it is. The sun is a yellow light. Look at this. It's like a tunnel. And just depending on what they do and how they do it, the whole neighborhood will be filled with this stuff or it'll disappear soon. The last couple of days we've had this, I have filmed it, but I have not uploaded because I know that people look back here now you can see fog forming. See? Starting really low on the ground. Why is that? There are no conditions here for fog. What are the conditions for fog? Fog is a kind of steam. There's no need for steam here because it's quite cold, actually. There was no change. We, we didn't have clouds last night. We do not have clouds now. But I'm pretty sure, let me see if I can get this car window. You can see the water on this car, on this car window. Why? A windshield, I should say. People aren't asking themselves questions. They damn people who tell them the truth. Take a look at how this is moving. You know, with technology, they can do so many things. I know so many people who believe that uh, they sent rocket ships and, and, and uh, astronauts to the moon. Well, if they can do that, why can't they manipulate the weather? Take a look at all these towers here. This is all alchemical. What is alchemy? Alchemy is a metals-based science of destruction. They want to deconstruct creation. In other words, they want to destroy it. Take a look. Now this, is, this fog is not going up. It's, it seems to be moving back down to the ground. And this can go on for hours. I've watched it happen, especially when it gets really, really cold in winter. We've got all this fog. Why? <laughs> you know? And the thing is, with the precipitation, for example, in the winter, let's say it starts snowing, it'll begin snowing, and then it'll be windy, and the temperature will go up. This never happened before. This doesn't happen in real life. It doesn't snow, and then mo the more it snows, the warmer it gets. But people are in a disconnect because, for one thing, they don't want to know the truth. We're being bombarded by lies. Abracadabra, which means as I speak, I create. Which also means that um, if they don't talk about a thing, that it doesn't exist. Take a look at this. I'm just pointing out to people what's happening to them. It's happening to me. It's happening to you. This is heavy metal. It gets in your brain. It gets in your blood and bones. It assimilates with the body, but it will not cleave, according to Daniel 2.43. Take a look at how natu unnatural this is. It looks like it's abating, but in 10 minutes, the whole neighborhood can be full. 
of this fog. Take a look back here also. I saw, like I said, I saw some frequent flyers this morning, but I could not get them on camera. They would not focus. So you can see them with your eyes, but these cameras will not pick them up. Look at the sky. It's purple now. Purple and blue. They've got the whole heavens and the whole earth under lockdown.